Um, I got a double C in science at GCSE, and that's the last thing I ever did to do with science, so I kind of don't belong here. But anyway, hello. Um, I am Scarlett, and I've come to talk to you about fab, or fringe arts bath. Three words. Art, fairly obvious. Bath, this place. Fringe. We organise art exhibitions. We organise two weeks of art exhibitions every year. It's a festival, a uh, fab festival. Happens at the same time as the International Music Festival and the Bath Fringe Festival. We're all volunteers. These people are willingly standing up ladders with probably no health and safety um, per <laughs> people checking on them. Um, sorry, let me check my notes. <laughs> we, um, yeah, it, it's an art festival, and it's ran by artists. He didn't stay there for the two weeks. He was only there for the opening night, but some people thought he might. Um, it's, it's ran by artists for artists because we love it. So we're all volunteers, and... I wouldn't work this hard on something in my spare time if I didn't love it. We, we're working on it all year round. Um, we basically want to put a chance forward for people to get their work out there. Um, I spend a lot of time tweeting about other people's exhibitions, sharing information, making sure the little people are hearing about the big people and the big people are hearing about the little people. Um, this is an awesome like, spirograph with decks and stuff. Um, and, and our definition of what is art is really broad. So basically, um, we are uh, really broad. Um, we work with all sorts of groups of people. These were fresh graduates straight out of university. Um, the previous one with the Sparograph was um, connected to the Holborn's Gardener's Lodge group, which is an art group, um, all run by people with mental health issues. Um, oh, this one was the sci most sciencey thing we've got. There's sort of a heart there. Some of our exhibitions are quite sciencey. So one lady did a show about your heartbeat. That's the average time that your heart beats in 70 years. Um, and she went from being an artist and from being, sort of, after having done lots of years of science and things, sort of in her maybe 50s, started doing art. She curated an exhibition the year after having come along as an artist and she hadn't curated before. And we support those people as well to give them a chance to try something new. Resonance was all about sound. To me, sound and resonance is quite sciencey words in a way. And artists were showing us how sound works. These were sort of vibrations going on in water in this horrible, dark, dingy cavern. It was absolutely amazing. And it almost became more about the visuals, but the visuals sort of told you about sound in a way. Same artist doing weird things with 17 pints of water and all the ripples and the resonance and sort of performance art going on. A hum. We had people just turn up and everyone was invited and they stood in the space. And they hum. <laughs> and it was really, really lovely because it sort of used the space and vibrated off the walls and it was all sort of, not literally purpose created, but it was in some way. Massive, massive speaker. It took eight people to carry this down into the basement because for some reason we didn't want to put it on the ground floor. Um, she was recording sound from underground. She has speakers this far under the ground in a basement, but the sounds that were coming out of there were absolutely amazing. Um, and this is another one with dust on metal plates and you play a violin bow down the side of the plate and it created, it formed these shapes which, you know, if you told someone about these, if you showed them a diagram, they wouldn't necessarily kind of get what you're talking about. But if they're able to interact with this experience, interact with the science, they're kind of, they're the ones dragging the bow and watching the dust move. It's sort of... It, it's a different approach, it's almost, it's quite inclusive, different people approach these things in different ways. So through using art and science, this was one of the collaborations with, um, that came out of the Images of Research stuff that the university does up here, which we've worked with. Um, it's one of, one of your lot. Um, it's getting towards the end, isn't it? Um, <laughs> basically, we're trying to use science and art together to express it out to people in the world out there who may not, like me, understand science particularly well. Um, and we have taken these talks. Um, 17 of the talks that um, have happened at Ignite put themselves forward to say yes, I'm happy for an artist to mess with what I've done and reinterpret it. So we've got an exhibition coming up, which was, um, we've had funding from here, um, public engagement funded this. These are our researchers, some of you might be in here, I don't know. These are our artists, and they're going to present short video reinterpretations of the short videos of research that they've had from here. Um, and there's also going to be a Scrabble, uh, yeah, Scrabble night, science theme Scrabble night, just because. Um, and this is us, fab. Please do come along to the exhibition. I have some flyers which are over there. It's in January. And um, 
it's lovely. <laughs> it's really good fun doing all of this. Um, and scary doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.